Hello again, welcome to the channel. My name is Dina. I love this plant. I love the long baby leaves, the long orangey petals, and its easygoing nature. This is the Philodendron Billitiae, also called Billy or Emerald Vine Philodendron. I got this from a local garden shop two years ago. It had a lot of attention in the beginning, complete with grow light, heat pad, DIY humidity box until I realized it was not that fragile after all. The philodendron billy is a tropical plant native to Brazil, Guyana, and the French Guiana. My goal was to create a jungle light setup in my home for the plant to thrive and put out amazing leaves. After two years of growing this plant, I'm still not an expert, but I'm learning more and more as the plant grows. I'm happy with the result of my current game plan in this video, I'm sharing tips on how to grow big, long, glossy leaves like these. The philodendron berry is an epiphyte, a plant that grows on the surface of other plants in their natural environment. I imagine the billy growing on the trunk of a big tall tree in the forest. The plant's aerial roots cling to the bars of the tree, some hang freely in the air, and some crawl on the forest floor where there's a thick layer of decomposing plant debris such as leaves, bark, branches, and stems. So my version of this airy chunky mix is made up of orchid potting mix, perlite, and some horticultural charcoal. Other ingredients you can use to create this mix are cocoa peat, compost, and pumice. The big tall tree in the forest where the aerial roots are attached gives the plant the support it needs to encourage vertical growth and mature. My billy uh, appears to be self-heading at this stage. The space between each node is quite short, but I want the stem to be well supported as it grows so the plant can just focus on growing big leaves. So for me, it's not too early to give the plant a pole or a trellis for support. The plant also gets a lot more light high up in the canopy of trees in a natural environment. Here in my home, a plant gets about 12 hours of bright indirect light uh, in the warmer months from a north facing window and about 6 hours in the colder months. Adequate light gives the leaves a glossy look. To keep the leaves pristine, I also position the plant away from drafts, heating and cooling vents and from harsh light uh, that can burn the leaves. If the plant is not getting enough light, the petioles will be longer, the leaves smaller and look dull. The plant gets moisture from the rainwater and the humid environment in the forest. Water drips down the tree during rainfall and runs over the roots of the plant briefly. Although the atmosphere is humid from frequent rains, the sun is also strong high up in the tree and dries the plant out quickly. With that in mind, I only water the plant when the top part of the soil feels dry up to the second knuckle. I also repotted the plant into a clear pot so I could see the soil moisture and it helped me decide when to water the plant. I use rainwater when it's available. Most of the time, it's tap water. I have a five liter pressure watering spray and I let the tap water sit in there for a day before using it. In my experience, if the plant is watered thoroughly, there's no need to use humidifier or pebble tray for extra humidity, even on the hot, dry days. There were times when a new leaf took forever to unfurl and this summer there was good light and the plant was actively growing. It helped to check the soil moisture. It turned out the soil was a bit dry. After the plant got a good soak, the new leaf seemed to unfurl quicker. The billy gets its nutrients from the rainwater, air and compost that collects around the roots. However, the nutrients in this small pot gets used up after a while. So it's important the plant gets adequate nutrition when it's actively growing. I prefer to use liquid fertilizer and I used half the recommended strength in the beginning and just added more as the plant matured. And general housekeeping for the plant to look its best, I kept the leaves clean so they can absorb as much light as they can. I spray the plant with water in the summer, especially the undersides of the leaves. I spray the neem oil mix on clean, dry leaves and top part of the soil. In the colder months, I just wipe the leaves clean and spray the neem oil mix after. 
Finally, I just want to add another observation. You may see these sticky bees on the leaves and petioles of the philodendron bilithiae. These drops here. I had to do some checks to determine if these are from pests or not. I usually see them along the midrib of new leaves and they dry off as the leaves mature. My plant appears to be healthy and the leaves um, are spotless. I believe the sticky sap on my billy may be some form of foliar nectaries. The purpose of this is to attract beneficial insects, the good guys. In return, uh, they protect the plant from the bad guys, the harmful insects. I learned they are quite common with philodendrons and alocasias. So I just left these to dry off and I don't worry about them. The plant is growing so well in my environment. I did not expect the first couple of years to be this easy. So I highly recommend adding this plant to your collection. I just learned that the leaves can grow up to a meter in length and it will get more wavy as it matures as well. And that sounds exciting and I look forward to that. That is all for today. Thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and find it helpful. If you do, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. Leave a comment, press the bell icon, and I'll see you again in the next video.